guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my hairs are everywhere, my hairs are coming out. Um, I am doing, clearly, that was a lot. Hey, how many hairs are you supposed to lose in one day? Cause I read like a hundred and then they said, they still fall out even if you braid your hair. So when you braid your hair, like I get like a ton of hair falling out and I'm like, what, how, why? Aren't braids supposed to kind of protect the process? Like, anyway, I'm just, I'm balding clearly. So. Um, I'm doing a Fashion Nova Curve Haul today. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Fashion Nova, so <laughs> shout out to them, hey. Um, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. And um, I don't know how many, I've, I've done a ton of Fashion Nova uh, hauls, so I've got a much better grip on my sizing these days. Although, especially with jeans, it tends to vary. So I highly recommend, even besides this video, like go online, look around, like look at the reviews, read the reviews, and do your best to gauge the sizing with this stuff because sometimes it does vary. But um, like I said, I think for the most part I nailed it, so go me. But uh, you know what I was gonna ask you guys? I have all this stuff over there and it's a lot of like, I have like a bunch of um, like bras and panties, like new stuff and then it's from like three different stores but then I have like a bunch of dresses and I have like sweaters and everything else. Like, do you prefer when I do videos where it's one brand? Like this is an all Fashion Nova Curve haul, you know? But I have dresses, I have jeans, I have uh, tops, I have jacket. Like, do you prefer when it's a one brand video or would you prefer me trying out like, you know, like a panty haul <laughs> or like, um, you know, dresses or like fall sweaters or whatever. Or would you prefer just one brand? Cause I feel like it's easier to shop that way if you're just gonna get everything from one place. You know what I mean? I don't know. So you give me your feedback cause I've just been thinking about it lately because that stuff's been sitting there for so long. So anyway, um, this outfit that I have on now is actually from Fashion Nova. I actually wore this out yesterday. Had a little <laughs> date night. And um, this top is so cute. So this is actually a bodysuit and it is a thong bodysuit. And it fits me really well on top. Like I like how pretty it is. It's It's got like good kind of muted colors, um, but they're not all browns and everything like a lot of fall stuff tends to be. But um, it was like all the way up my butt because it's a bodysuit and it's a thong. And so purely for that, just because I feel like it's on the shorter side, I would have sized up to a 2X instead of a 1X just so that I could be a little bit more comfortable when I'm actually sitting down. So like I said, I did wear this whole outfit yesterday. Um, other than that, I think it's really cute. It's stretchy and it's a rib top, it's nice. It does come down kind of low. I don't know if it's really coming up on camera since I don't have a lot of cleavage, but uh, it does come down a little bit. It's, you know, on the lower side for sure. But um, other than that, it's really cute, really comfortable top. And then we have the jeans. So the jeans are, I believe these are the wax jeans. Like I said, I wore them, so I ripped the tag up. Yeah, they are. These are the um, wax jeans, the ankle skinny, and I got these in a size 18. Even though for the most part, I'm wearing a 16 right now. Um, even in a lot of straight size brands, like American Eagle and Express, I'm wearing a 16 right now. Um, but I got these in an 18, and these fit me perfect. Look, I still got change in here from yesterday. Um, these fit me perfectly. Like, definitely size up, I would say. Um, yeah, size up. I think the best thing about Fashion Nova, maybe what they're really known for, I feel like, are jeans. Um, if you get the right pair, girl, they are the right, right pair. So these ones, I feel like, like, look how flattering they are. And these are a lower rise, these are a mid rise. So my belly button's right here. A high rise on me would typically come about right here. Um, so for a mid rise, these are incredibly flattering on me. I feel like they actually kind of disguise the belly line. The lighting here always makes it look worse than if you were just looking at me like in regular, not this harsh kind of light that I have. Um, but it always looks so good. And then of course, the best thing about Fashion Nova jeans is always the butt. I just feel like, I don't know, I don't love my butt. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've never been like a huge proponent of my own ass cheeks, but I really like how it looks in Fashion Nova pants. They just look so good. Oh, and then I do have a problem sometimes where Fashion Nova pants are way too long on me. These, I do not have that problem. They come right down to the ankle and they are a skinny jean. Um, I probably have a, you know, if you're a couple inches taller than me, I still think you'd be good. I'm 5'4", uh, but other than that, dude, I mean, how cute are we? This is such a cute outfit, I love it. And actually, before I pop off this outfit, I wanted to show you this jacket. This is the Show Me Your Pearls denim jacket, size 1X, it's 
like I said, they always have uh, sales on their site. And I got it because um, it has like an oversized kind of look and feel to it. Because a lot of times denim jackets are way too tight on my sleeves. Are my sleeves? I don't have sleeves. I'm not born with sleeves. My arms. I was born with arms. So a lot of times the sleeves are way too tight on my arms. But this one, I read the reviews and everybody said it's like, you know, so oversized and whatever. So I got it because I needed it. So it actually fits around though really well too if I wanted to button it. But I'm not much of a, not much of a buttoner. <laughs> not much for buttons um but it's so cute it has distressing on it and then it has you know actual like functioning pockets and then it's just covered in these pearls like all over the place it's all over the back isn't it yeah it goes all the way around i figured i would probably use this to like style up a an outfit a dress something basic kind of team it with this and do probably like a cute little instagram picture like a little off the shoulder thing hi like it's a really comfortable jacket though there is no stretch in it um is there no there's no stretch in it but you really don't need it because it's so oversized okay so i'm doing all of the jean uh looks first just so i only have to put on Spanx once and i just wanted to show you guys these pants before i put them on like are you are you getting how teeny tiny these pants are i don't I don't know if this is coming across on camera, but like compared to my regular pants, these look miniature size. These look like size eights. But uh, do not be deceived, my friend. The stretch and the jeans that they sell is so real. Let me pop these on. Oh, but while I got the tag, these are the Pop Champagne Jean 1X, and it says $44.99. And then this top was $19.99. I think it's called Top Top Flowers to me. Anyway. Be right back when I get some pants on. Okay, I changed my mind on that top that I just had on. So this is the You Should Know crop top. It was uh, $17.99. Obviously it's a crop top with a little mock turtleneck kind of thing. I don't even know if I would quite call this a mock turtleneck because it doesn't even go up that far, but um, it's just striped with like a mustardy kind of color and then red and then cream. It's really like fall vibes. It's like 70, oh my gosh, it's 64 degrees right now. It's morning time still, but, um, oh dang, it's 12.25. I've been up for like six hours. It's not morning time anymore. Whew. I'm hot though. I'm hot and they were playing music outside, so I had to close the window. Oh, but now it's just crickets and birds and stuff. Perfect. So this top was $17.99. And then the, these pants, these pants. It is also very stretchy and everything. Oh, and I got it in a 1X in case I did not mention that. I mean, it's not like crazy stretchy, but it's a, you know, it's a regular like, um, what is this called? It's ribbed. What are those called? Kind of like a wannabe thermal, but it's on the thin side, so not quite. And now the pants. So these are obviously very like sailory kind of pants. And like I said, they were freaking tiny, okay? I don't think that really picked up on camera. I mean, they're snug, but they're not like too tight that I couldn't wear them. But just like the other ones, they hide this belly line. Like, hello, where'd it go? Okay, somebody got left on me too. Okay, not me, JK. Although I would, so don't judge me. But anyway, and um, same thing goes for the booty too. Like, I'm always pleased with how my backside looks and there's never, ever, ever a gap above it in uh, jeans from Fashion Nova. So these I got in a one X, so they are definitely on me slim side and um they are i would say like about the same length as the last pair that i showed you again they go down to my ankle with just a little bit of extra but they're so tight that it doesn't really bother me that it has extra material down there um and how much were these i don't know these ones were um 44.99 so these jeans are really like if i could just like drop a couple you know what I'm there are no pockets on these but that's kind of what makes it look so extra like smooth and whatnot i mean there's pockets on the butt you always need pockets on the butt. Pockets in the butt, like those are clutch, <laughs> but there's no pockets in the front. But these are actual like real life, you know, buttons. This is how you, you know, handle this. <sighs> I didn't take the picture yet and I gotta button that back up. Great. So these are the no promises distress jeans. I'll do my best to link everything in the description box in case I'm getting the names wrong. These I think were only like 32 bucks. They're obviously super bent. They're super distressed. And these ones are a little bit longer than the other ones that I had. Um, they are a very high waist, low bust kind of jean. Like my bra's right here and the jeans are, I don't know, two and a half inches below? 
like not very far um these are again in a 1x they're super stretchy they're always super stretchy i feel like and if they're not it says in the reviews trust me and again again with the little booty what i don't know what it is about uh fashion nova's jeans remember that video i did where i paired like fashion nova against um who was it against good american because good american jeans are like $200 and then Fashion Nova jeans will be like, you know, with a coupon or whatever, they'll be like 30 bucks or something, 20, 30 bucks. And like the Fashion Nova ones kind of won out the whole situation just because they do make your butt look good. They are really stretchy. They are really comfortable, but they're cheap enough that you can buy a bunch or, you know, you can switch it up because like I love distressed jeans, but when I wear the crap out of them, these little holes become big holes. And then I gotta, you know, switch it up and buy a new pair. Anyway, this shirt obviously doesn't go with it, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. This is, um, oh, now I forgot what it was called. <laughs> but I, again, I got it in a 1X. It just has like this little frilly, like, I'm still buying a couple of kind of lighter colored things and little cutesy things. It's just because I'm still going out of town um, to like warmer, tropical kind of places. Uh, in the next few weeks, maybe month or so. So I want to have a couple of new things to kind of play with still. Um, oh, oh, and there are fake pockets on the pants. Oh, other than that though, I mean, they're really comfortable. Do they run off? Let me rub my hands on the pants. Oh, yeah, I got a little, I got a little stainage. <laughs> Rock Nation, okay. I got a little stainage on my uh, hands. Isn't there like some trick to get your uh, denim not to bleed though? Cause it's pretty common for darker denim and black denim to bleed. What is it? Is it like vinegar and the washer and like a little prayer or I don't remember what it is. But um, anyway, this top I thought was really cute. It actually ties together so it can be as open or as closed <laughs> as your heart desires. I just thought it was a cute little feminine girly little thing. So I picked it up. Come on baby, shake your body. Do that conga. Like, look at this dress. Ah! How cute is this dress? I think it was like 37 or something like that regularly. I got it in a size 1X and it is just like the ruffly dress of my dreams. I'm not really big on ruffles to be honest with you normally, but I love that this one actually goes up, has like a nice high kind of cut up here. It covers a little fat underneath like my armpit. That's, that's always fun to put away and tuck in. And it's not super low. So I don't like, I don't always, I think I mentioned this before, I don't always like having really tight dresses and having like my boobs out. I feel kind of overexposed sometimes. Sometimes that's the mood, but sometimes it's not. Um, so I like the ruffle and I like the way it kind of cuts across and then back down because it really creates like this different kind of shape. I mean, I don't know how different it is actually because like this is my shape anyway, but it's so cute and it doesn't go all the way to the ground, which is actually nice because when I have heels on and stuff, I'm not tripping over it. I wore a jumpsuit the other day to the city. I had some work to do. <gasps> Ask me how many times I fell. Ask me. More than that. That's how many times. Whatever you just guessed in your brain, more than that many times. <laughs> it was awful. So sometimes it's just nice not to have things covering your shoes and everything else, but it's so pretty. Like, what? 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 I love it. The back is cute too. It's just like basic straight down and then you have the ruffles there on the bottom. This is a super cute dress. The second I saw it on the model, I was like, put it in the bag. Hopefully it looks like that on me. And it kind of does. Another dress. So this is a too high angle. This dress is really, really pretty. Like it feels super elegant. The slit is not too, too high. It's like just above mid thigh. For me, the length hits basically right on the floor like perfectly floor level so if i had heels it would be just off the ground um it's it's pretty damn nice like it fits really beautifully especially the bottom half i don't know if it's just the cuts maybe the slit that make it so like extra flattering i guess um it's pretty basic kind of in the back just a spaghetti strap top the only thing that i would have to kind of figure out is I don't know if it's the bra or what, but it has like a little bit less coverage here. Remember the last dress I said it like covers up this little area? So this does not cover up that little area, but it's just such a beautiful dress. It crosses here on the top and it's just kind of a, like a faux little, you know, kind of wrap because it just, that's it. Um, but I could definitely see pairing this with like a gold belt or maybe just like a long kind of dangly chain, 
something to kind of bring a little more attention right in this area because this is not enough obviously it is a navy color i don't know if that comes up on camera but it was only like 32 bucks it's called the high street dress and i got this one in a 1x of course always extremely extremely stretchy i guess if you wanted it a little bit longer you could probably size up because the straps are adjustable as you can see mine are adjusted like almost totally forward i usually like for the top to be really like high up just so I don't have to worry about anything slipping out or my bra showing or anything like that. It's kind of tacky. What a beautiful dress though. Like I keep looking at myself in the mirror with it and I just like I wish I had somewhere to go today besides the mall because I would wear this dress. It's so beautiful <laughs> and so cute. I don't know if it comes up on camera like just how nice this dress is. This is definitely my favorite one. That last one is really fun and like let's go dancing kind of dress but this is like she take me to eat. Take me home, take it off. Okay, last but not least, this is called like the high school sweetheart sweater dress. It is a sweater dress, if that's not obvious. Um, and then it has, you know, kind of a little pull down top so your shoulders are exposed. And you can adjust this up or down as much as you need to basically. It is ribbed. It fits really nicely. The arms are nice and long too, not like overly so, but you can definitely get that like little cozy kind of look out of it. Um, and it's a navy dress with obviously yellow and white. If these were like, you're like, okay, so I put this on yesterday and I was kind of feeling myself. So I like hopped on the bed and I started taking pictures or whatever. And I was like channeling like if I had like a you know, if I was in college still and I had like a little boyfriend or whatever and like I was wearing his school's colors, you know what I mean? Like I was channeling that, like let me take some pictures, like I'm gonna send this to my man or something. And then, you know, like, okay, hang that on your wall and set it as your wallpaper and also your profile picture and all your stuff because when I was in college I was insecure. So anyway, um, <laughs> this is like, those are the vibes that I get from this. It, it's really cute. I mean, there's not a lot even to say about it. And for some reason, I don't know why, it's only $24.99. And it's, it's a really nice dress. I used to love sweater dresses. I would wear them like tights and then like, you know, boots, like suede boots or something. And I think, I think they need to make a comeback. They're so comfortable, you know? Like it's still like a very fitted dress. I'm still gonna wear Spanx and stuff, but they're really comfortable just cause it feels like you're wearing a sweater or just a nice thick t-shirt. Like this feels like, um, kind of like a thermal and it's ribbed too. So it's real cute. <laughs> it's real cute stuff. How does it look from the back? It's not short or anything either. It goes right down to my knee. And again, like I said, five, four. That's me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And if, what did I ask you? I asked you something at the beginning. Oh yeah, let me know if you like seeing the like one brand videos or if you wanna see like one style video or you know what I mean? Like, let me know what you're feeling and I will oblige whatever ends up coming up in the comment section. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me comments down below who you want to see featured next. Oh, ma'am. And that's all I got. I hope you guys are having a really amazing day. It's the weekend here now, but it'll probably be the real week by the time you guys see this. So hope your weekend went well. Fall's officially here. It's here, no, it's here. It's my birthday, Halloween. I don't really care about Halloween, but well, I care about it for the kids, you know for the kids <sighs> thanksgiving my baby's birthday family food the best tasting coffee none of that pumpkin spice trash but i was getting this maple cappuccino from this place in aurora if you guys live around here so good it's called enduro it's so good i love it anyway hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will uh i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys oh wait let me do the thing <laughs>